Hey everyone, I'm back with a new series on Silver Strike, and in this series I'm going to be going over how to use React on the front end so that we can create a single page application like website uh, with no page refreshing and everything gets loaded in with JavaScript. You can see here we have a custom blog page. Uh, we can hit an article and it just loads the article in, updates the route up here. You can see here that our content is still being pulled from the CMS. If we were to go to the about page here, we could change this, publish it, and there you go. So the installation process is going to be very similar to the last series. Uh, if you're using XAMPP, you'll want to clone this into the htdocs directory, but I've been using Homestead for a while now, so I'm going to be cloning it into this custom directory that I made. And we're just going to call this SS React Tutorial. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to go ahead and navigate into that directory. Uh, open up a text editor. And in this video, we're just going to get the theme committed. We're just going to use the default simple theme and not install the bootstrap one like the last time. Okay, to start, Composer likes to remove this theme a lot if we're running an update. So what we're going to want to do is take the expose section out of the Composer JSON in the actual theme folder here. And we're going to throw that into the extra section here in the root composer and then we're going to want to just delete this one and then we don't want to ignore our theme so in the git ignore go ahead and remove the line that says theme simple okay so back in our expose section here you're going to want to prefix each of these with the path to the theme so it's going to be themes simple and we're just going to want to remove simple from the requirements okay so since we did that if we try to run composer update now it's going to try to remove the simple theme uh, but to circumvent this what we're going to want to do is actually make this a git repository so go ahead and run git init and then git status and we're going to want to add everything so just go ahead and do a git add dot and a git commit the message init okay okay so in your recycling bin go ahead and just restore this file for now and then go ahead and run the composer update and then it's going to remove the theme. Actually, you might need to remove a trailing comma here and then run the composer update, uh, but then you should see it gets removed. Uh, to restore that, you just want to go ahead and run git reset hard. Oops, git reset hard. And there we go. And then if we run composer again, uh, we shouldn't have any more errors. Okay, this looks good. So now what we're going to need to do is set up the hosts file and the env file, which is going to be the same as the last video. Uh, you're just going to need to set the default admin, the environment type, and then point the IP address to this domain right here, or whatever you set in your vhost file or homestead if you're using that. So I have a nice little Python script that I use to generate this automatically, but remember to set your database username. If you're using Homestead, it's going to be Homestead and the password's going to be secret. Uh, if you're using XAMPP, it's going to be root and nothing, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now you should be able to pull this up in your browser. Uh, if you're using XAMPP, remember it's going to be local host. Uh, Homestead lets you configure whatever suffix you want. So go ahead and just do that and it should run a dev build automatically. Alright, there we are. 
This just ran a successful dev build and we have our site here. Okay, so a little bonus section here at the end. I know I talked a lot about using Homestead. Uh, that's like a Laravel environment that uses PHP, Nginx, all that. Um, it requires a Vagrant and VirtualBox to work, uh, but everything should still work in XAMPP. If you guys are interested in a Homestead configuration episode, uh, just let me know. Uh, but in the next episode, we're going to be going over installing Webpack and Node modules. So I'll catch you then.